What's going on guys? Today I'm going to tie up a uh, basically a little shrimp, maybe a little mud minnow type fly. It's just a great little fly. Looks the part, does the job. I'm going to be tying it on a size 1 Umqua. Um, this is the S415BN5X, but I mean you can tie it on any any gamma hook, any size one, size two, um, you know, don't be picky. Just tie with what you got and make do. Redfish aren't too picky. So I'm using some kind of burnt orange thread. Just gives a nice accent to this fly. Start off by putting our putting our dumbbell eye on. This is kind of a, a yellow, yellow dumbo eye with the pupils. Um, this is some thinner, uh, thinner thread. So you know, I'm giving everything quite a few wraps. You might see me break it while we're tying this fly, but it's what I got, so that's what I'm using. Alrighty. So we're coming out the back. What do we got? What do we got? I'll just take I just like a since the tail is going to be a light that light tan what I'll do is I'll give it a little a little bit of dark brown coming out the top so I'm just what I'm doing is just taking it off this brush only because it's the right color you could use craft fur or pretty much any other you know streamer type fiber that you have and then you're just going to drop that right off the back Shorten it up just a little bit, but still keep those fibers. Just go ahead and wrap all that in. It'll get covered up so it's all, it'll all be in there. So after we tie in that brown, we're going to go to our tan craft fur and that's going to be our our tail coming off the back go ahead and grab yourself a nice big chunk of it pull this trash can up here you're going to take out all those smaller fibers towards the back and i like to shorten it up a little bit Pull that out, stack it back on top. Because we want to keep using that. We need a little, little body to it. So from there, you're just going to lay that right over top of that, that dark brown. Wrap that on in there. Get that all nice and tight. Clean it up a bit. But again, it doesn't have to be too nice because you're going to still wrap over all this. So from there, you can go ahead and put a little bit of flash in. This is just some gold, some gold flash. And I'd say, you know, about four, four strands. 
coming out either side works. And so I'll just take four strands. And double it over, put one down each side, and then just wrap it straight back. So then you got some gold coming out on each side. And from there, once I get that gold flash in there, that's when I like to put my bars. Kind of gives that that flash some nice barring also. Next, we're gonna add in the, this is the EP Foxy brush, inch and a half. I like all the, all these Foxy colors, They're, they just look good. Give it a good natural, natural look to it. Oh, oops, before we do that, we need to add some legs. And so I got these uh, these barred crustacean legs with the orange accent. Some of the guys over at uh, Sightcast, Sightcast Fishing. Great Texas company. Same thing like we did with that gold flash. We're gonna take two strands of the barred, barred silly legs, double it over right down the middle Trying to keep this nice and nice and uniform. Go ahead and just get that, tie that on in. Right down both sides. I like to keep this a little bit more towards the top to make sure they come out the bottom. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, the foxy brush, inch and a half, nice and natural color. I'm gonna brush those back. We'll tie this in just to the bottom and start wrapping it. And then make sure when you're wrapping these, you're just pulling all those fibers back. And that's how you're really gonna build this body up and get it nice and fluffy instead of stacking down on each other. Another nice thing to have is these little tools to brush out your brush. Really handy. You can make one out of Velcro or something like that at home too. It's pretty easy, but finally someone came up with a nice brush that does the job for you. Just got to pay them for it. Wrap that, you know, a good three quarters of the way up towards the eyes. Still making sure it's pulling back on itself. Once you got enough on there, I'm gonna wrap back, secure it down. Next, we're gonna keep building our head with what is the one inch tarantula brown. So I already got some pulled off from the last few that I tied. And right in front of that, right in front of that, uh, that foxy brush we just finished up. Same deal, just build that up right in front of that, that foxy brush. So it gives us a nice little, you know, segmented color change right there. Wrap that back. Get that nice and tight in there. And then we'll secure that in. 
You do five, ten wraps, especially because it's thinner thread. Make sure it's making sure it's on there, not going anywhere. And you could be done there, guys. I mean, that's a, a fine fly right there. That's basically your, your redfish crack variation. But I'm just gonna build it up a little more, put a nice little dome on the front of it, nice little head. So you flip it over. And my accent right now is, I've been loving this kip tail. And so this is just an olive, olive kip tail. Again, changing the color up just to keep giving it more, more of a contrast, more segmented contrast. So you don't need much, just a little quarter of a pencil thickness. And then just like you finish off a clouser right on the nose, Tied down pretty tight. Leave that nose. And come back with the scissors and cut the nose off. Just go over and get that looking all pretty. Clean up that nose. If you got a whip finish. Go ahead and finish it off. Otherwise, just give it a few half inches. We're still gonna put a little super glue on it. Tighten everything up, make it last a little bit longer. There it is. I like to trim those, those legs up just a little bit. go that's your little just some kind of little marsh critter <laughs> that the redfish are going to enjoy mud minnow shrimp good spring uh spring pattern